In today's video, we're gonna talk about some of the best motion capture software that you can use to work on your 3D projects, whether it be animation, VFX, or game development. We're gonna start with Motion Builder. Autodesk Motion Builder has been for many years and still is the industry standard when it comes to motion capture retargeting and motion data editing. Some of you might say that Motion Builder doesn't do the motion capturing itself, but let me tell you that this piece of software if not the best tool at a professional level that enables you to use the mocap data and clean it and adjust it to make it ready for production. While it's true that Motion Builder doesn't directly perform motion capture, its role as a powerful post-processing tool can't be overstated. As I said, the software excels at refining motion capture data, offering professionals the capability to clean, fine-tune, and prepare the data for production. Its robust features enable you to adjust captured motions, retarget them onto different characters, and create seamless animations, as we have seen in multiple projects. Motion Builder also supports a wide range of file formats, which makes it compatible with most motion capture systems and 3D software. However, the software comes at a high price, as it is only available as part of the Autodesk Media and Entertainment Collection which costs around $2,600 per year or bought separately for $2,100 per year. And in the same vein of Cartoon Animator 5 that we mentioned in our previous video, Adobe Character Animator offers a unique approach to bringing 2D characters to life. While it's not a traditional motion capture tool, it stands out by its ability to operate both webcam and microphone input to animate 2D characters in real time allowing performers to capture facial expressions, gestures, and movements. From what I can see, this intuitive software detects facial movements and translates them into character animations, making it ideal for streaming animation use cases similar to what you can find on 2D animation YouTube channels like this one. Also, there are pre-built puppets for beginners if they don't want to go through the settings and creating custom characters. And if you are already an Adobe user, Using software like Photoshop, After Effects, or Premiere, Character Animator integrates seamlessly with other Adobe Creative Cloud applications as it offers a smooth transition between animation and post-production processes by reducing the export and import workflow down to just a few clicks. And just so you know, it is part of the Creative Cloud or Apps plan for $55 per month. You've probably heard of Faceware the award-winning company that offers facial motion capture solutions for clients who work on AAA games, animation, and VFX projects, including big players in the industry like Rockstar, EA, Square Enix, DreamWorks, Disney, and Paramount Pictures, just to name a few. One of the Facewear mocap software suits is Facewear Studio, a compact set of tools for creating facial animations at high quality. With an easy calibration setup, it allows you to accurately track any face without putting tracking markers on actors, which is really interesting. Also, it offers the possibility to tune the tracking in real time with advanced settings and add motion effects, which is a very powerful way to manipulate the data in detail. Just like others, Facewear Studio enables us to retarget and stream the animation data on any character rig in other software such as Unreal Engine, Unity, and Motion Builder using plugins. On a side note, Facewear Studio is not only a software, but also a platform that connects users with other Facewear products and services. From what I can see, users can purchase or rent Facewear hardware, such as the Hatcam Pro or the GoPro Hatcam Kit, to capture facial data. The price for the studio is $195 per month or $2,340 per year for a full subscription. However, for companies and individuals earning less than $100 per year, subscription costs $239 per year or $15 per month. We also have iClone Motion Live, which is not a fully dedicated motion tracking software, but rather a plugin for iClone a real-time 3D animation software that includes character animation, scene design, cinematic storytelling, etc. With Motion Live, you can connect multiple mocap devices from different brands and retarget animation data to 3D characters' faces, in addition to hands and bodies simultaneously. You can also use the same mocap device for multiple characters, which is really good, or capture motion for multiple characters with different devices. 
iCloud Motion Live supports data gloves, motion masking, multipass recording, and live character performance. It also has interesting mockup data cleaning and motion refinement tools, including posing, offset correction, motion enhancement using the curve editor, data noise removal, and more. And just like the majority of software on today's video, it also streams the animation data to other software such as game engines. The price of iClone 8 is around $600 for a perpetual license, and the prices for the Mocha profiles range from $69 for Motion Live Profile to $1,590 for Rococo, Xsense, and OptiTrack profiles. Now we're gonna talk about a classic tool called iPy Motion Capture from iPy Software which has been around since 2008. It was known as the go-to system for anyone wanting to do motion capture, especially back then, and you can do it cheaply. As mocap hardware was not accessible to hobbyists nor the average consumer, iPySoft offered a solution that uses cameras with depth sensors like the Xbox Kinetic in order to track the human body motions in 3D and produce the corresponding 3D animations. The system has evolved over the years and has been grinding on a new update and improvement for both their software, iPy Recorder, and iPy Mocap Studio. These two work together by capturing, playing back, and processing video records taken by different cameras and depth sensors with iPy Recorder, and then tracking the actor's motion by analyzing the video footage with iPy Mocap Studio. iPy Soft supports various configurations from 1 to 4 depth sensors or 3 to 16 RGB cameras, and can also use motion controllers like PlayStation Move or Wii Remote to track hand, prop, and head movements. It also has a key feature to manually set poses for fingers and a motion refinement and filtering tool to achieve realistic and jitter-free animation. Pricing goes from $195 for a perpetual license up to $2,000 depending on your needs but you can still have a 30-day trial, I mean a free trial as a start. Accent Motion Capture is another option for capturing realistic human motions as it offers a range of software alongside an exhaustive collection of hardware solutions equipped with inertial sensors for tracking the actor's movements. Their set of software include MVN Animate, which is specialized for creativity and entertainment, meaning animations for movies and video games, they also have MVN Analyze, which main focus is on health, sports, and research applications as it offers in-depth analysis and graphs about the subject in movement. MVN Animate comes with three offers, MVN Record, MVN Animate Plus, and MVN Animate Pro, all of which allow you to a certain extent record and replay MVN files, perform real-time processing, and HD reprocessing for best final quality. Now, moving back to kinetic-based mocap systems, because I want to talk about Breckel tools for motion capture. Since 2012, Jasper Breckelmans has been developing a series of tools for markerless motion capture using data from depth sensors and webcams. And he has five main products, all of which perform motion capture in one way or another, including Breckel Body, Face, Hands, Open VR Recorder, and Point Cloud. So, as the name suggests, Breckle Body focuses on full body motion tracking using a wide list of supported sensors and allows for mocap live streaming as it comes with plugins for Motion Builder, for example, scripts for Unity, and support for Unreal Engine 4 and 5 using LiveLink. And the resulting animation can then be exported to any file format. Breckle Face specializes in capturing facial movements and expressions, while Breckle Hands is for hand and finger tracking. OpenVR Recorder enables the capture of virtual reality interactions either using HTC Live, Oculus, Meta, or other VR devices, which can be very helpful for several use cases, whereas Breckle Point Cloud isn't really considered as motion capture because it doesn't return a skeleton animation, but rather depth point cloud data that can be used to create some cool-looking effects like these. The price of these tools ranges from $75 to 275 and the great thing is that it is a one-time purchase with lifetime access. So guys, if you are interested in one of these tools, you will find all the necessary links in the description. 
I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to the channel if you are new. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.